Ajax Amsterdam PSV Eindhoven Feyenoord Rotterdam All of these clubs won multiple times their own domestic league. Ajax Amsterdam with 36 titles, 4 Champions League titles, 20 Dutch Cup titles. Then we have PSV Eindhoven with 24 titles, 1 Champions League, 1 Europa League title and 11 Dutch titles. Then we have Feyenoord Rotterdam with 16 titles, 1 Champions League, 2 Europa titles and 13 Dutch Cup titles. Well, back in the day, there used to be another big giant who used to rule the league, and his name was HVV Den Haag. This is the story of HVV Den Haag. It all began around the year 1880, when two friends Jacobus van Stolk and Willem de Nook van Leuven lived near Stadtenkwartier near Schevingen's Bosius. After a holiday in England, their gymnastic teacher returned with the topics of two unknown ball games. The first was called cricket and the second one was called football. Both games were of interest to the youth and clubs were formed in various places, in the city initially to play cricket. In 1881, Jab von Stolk founded Olympia, with many friends as a cricket club. Two years later in 1883, they also decided to play football, and that was the beginning of HVV. But there was just one slight problem, players couldn't play on Het Maliveld, which was a large grass field in the center of the Hawk. The grass field at the time was owned by the Ministry of Finance, so lucky for them the Ministry of Finance allowed HVV to use the Het Maliveld to play football there. The problem at the time was, that many other clubs and other users could enjoy this permission from the ministry to play football. In September 1889, the HVV drew up rules and elected a board of directors. The name of the association has officially become Hoxche Football Veringing or HVV. Under this name, they play for the first time in October 1989 on the pitch of the Velodrome in Scheveningen in a match against HFC from Harlem, which ended in a 1-1 draw. But that all changed a month later. In November 1989 in Harlem, the first Dutch league was established. It was called the Netherlands Football League Championship. Seven teams from the cities Amsterdam, De Haag, Harlem and Rotterdam participated in the competition that would later be called Eerste Klasse West. But since the Western Football District of the Netherlands was the only one to have a competition at the time, it could be regarded as a national championship. However, this championship was not official, since the teams had not played an equal number of matches. The first season from 1988 to 1989 was made out of seven clubs. These were VV Concordia, HFC, HVV Den Haag, VVA, RAP, Olympia Rotterdam, and Excelsiors Harlem. The first club who won the Eerste Klasse West was VV Concordia, which they now play in the fifth tier of Dutch football. They played seven games and won five games, drew one and lost one. In total they earned 11 points. HVV Den Haag finished in the third place with six points. In the next year, in 1989-90 season, HFC won first place with 11 points, RAP finished second with 10 points, and HBV Den Haag finished again in third place, with 9 points. In 1891, history was written for HVV Den Haag. In the season 1890-91, HVV won the league with 13 points. They won 6 matches, drew 1 and lost 1 with a goal difference of 17. They won their first national championship. The league this season had only 5 clubs. HFC, RIP, Olympia Rotterdam and VV Concordia and of course HVV Den Haag. From 1891 to 1898-1899, HVV Den Haag won another Dutch title in 1896. In the season 1898-1990, the 
Something big change for HEV than Hog. Players could no longer play on the head Malvild. Luckily, a friendly Baron came to their aid. He allowed HEV footballers to rent part of his Klingendale estate on the condition that he could not see the footballers themselves. In September 1898, football players moved to the grounds on Vasen Norsvek in the Hawk. In the season 1899-900, HEV Den Hawk will win their third Dutch title. However, the championship format changed. You see, in the season 1897-1989, clubs were participating in two divisions. One was called Eerste Klas East and the other was called Eerste Klas West. The first place team in Eerste Klas West will play championship playoff with the first place team in the Eerste Klas West. So in the season 1899-900, HVV won the Eerste Klas West division with 10 wins, 1 draw and 1 defeat with 21 points and the face against Victoria Wageningen. HVV Den Haag would win their first match 4-1 and in the second leg, Victoria Wageningen won 2-0. So they had to play a third game replay, which HVV Den Haag won 1-0. In the next 14 years from 900 to 1914, HVV Den Haag would win 7 more Dutch titles. In 1901, 1901-02, their best ever season was in 902-03, where they won their 6th title and they won their first and only Dutch Cup title. In the 1902-03 season, Den Haag played 10 games, won 5, drew 4 and lost 1, and had 14 points. With this result, they qualified for the championship playoff. In the championship playoff group, they got Vitesse, who finished first in the Eerste Klasse East and also got Volharding, who finished in the first place in the Eerste Klasse West B. The playoff group had three clubs in it, Den Haag, Vitesse and Wolfharding. Each club played four games, the winner of the group was Den Haag with eight points. They played four games and won every game, with a goal difference of plus nine. In the same season, Den Haag will also win the Dutch Cup. In the final, they defeated HBS Kraanhout 6-1. In 94 5 they won their 7th title. In 96-07, they won their 8th title. In 99-10, they won their 9th title. And finally, in 1913-14, HVV Den Haag will win their 10th and last title. After World War I, in the early 1920s, major changes occurred in the football world during this period. The development meant that other clubs could devote more time and effort to the game. For some, this even meant that in addition to the normal daily income, they received compensation for their efforts in the field. HVV did not participate in this because the club had players with a different social background. This approach to the game of football at the club was much more non-binding. Many players also ended their football career prematurely after completing their studies or were sent abroad for their social career. As early as the early 1920s, a discussion broke out to separate amateur football from professional football. After having played in the middle of the first division in the first years, things slowly went downhill for HVV and the first team entered the danger zone. For the first time in the history of HVV, their first team had to play relegation matches after the 1926-1927 season. Fortunately, the impending disaster was averted. The first disaster for HVV Den Haag struck after the 1931-1932 season. HVV finished at the bottom of the first division and also lost their relegation matches. Harlem managed to win their matches and HVV was relegated to the second division for the first time in its existence. During World War II in 1942, 
the German occupier seized the second and third fields of HVV. These fields were covered with stones and asphalt and served as a construction and storage site for the construction of the Atlantic Wall. Shortly afterwards, the whole of Benordenhout had to be evacuated and it became a restricted area. As a result, the first team played its home games on different fields. In 1942-1943 season, HEV became champions in their last competition match, but were not given the opportunity to promote due to a strange arrangement. After this, HVV will never return to the highest level. In the 1948-1949 season, HVV Den Haag had a chance to be promoted to the first division. Unfortunately, things went wrong again in the promotional matches. HVV lost the decisive promotional match to THC. The success of the 1984-1949 season was not continued. In fact, the performance of HVV continued to deteriorate. In 1954, professional football was introduced and the association opted for amateur status. In the next following years, in the season 1962-1963, the club played in the third division of the KNVB for the first time in its history. In 1990, HVV Den Haag won promotion from the HVB after a victory over Duindorp SV, but that didn't last long, because after promotions in 1990 and 1994, HVV would return back to the 3rd division. In 2007, on June 3rd, HVV was promoted to the 2nd division after a 3-0 win against Olivero on the RKDEO grounds. Two years later, in 2009, HVV was promoted to the 1st division, where it has not played since the 1931-1932 season. They were promoted to the 1st division on June 1st, 2009, after a 3-1 win against DWS. Currently now, as of me writing this script, HVV Den Haag is playing in the Saturday Erste Klasse B, District West 2, which is the 7th tier of football in the Netherlands, and the 5th tier of Dutch amateur football.